name is Elizabeth Ramirez, and I am currently a student at the University of Washington. I am in the Early Childhood and Family Studies, and I'm a junior this year. I come from a small town called Granger. It's in eastern Washington. Um, my parents came to the United States in 1982. Um, from a small town called Uring de Tiro, which is in Michoacan, Mexico. And they came here to the United States, and specifically Washington, to, I guess, live the typical American dream. They both came uneducated, so the jobs they found here were obviously not the ideal jobs, poor working conditions. Um, but they have always supported me in my education, and so that is why I kind of want to go into education. Um, I would say what has helped me get through college is the support of my family. I'm a first generation student and I have two older brothers who decided not to go to college, so I'm the first in my family to go to college as well. And I'm trying to set a good example for my little brother. So coming here to the UW, which is a big campus of 40,000 students, um, services like camp have really helped me transition to college. So my um, little short piece of advice that I would give you is you know, if you don't know of any programs about the university your first year, don't be afraid to look and seek and ask questions about them because they are very helpful in transitioning and helping you get through your classes. And whenever you're feeling down and doubting yourself, just remember the reason you're here at college. Hi, my name is Jessica Martinez and I am a part of the third camp cohort at the University of Washington. My transition to the university has been a bit challenging because I've had to learn to adapt to the city of Seattle and to such a large campus. I come from a small town named Mattawa, Washington. It's also known as Waluk, and it's a very agriculturally based community. So it is the complete opposite of the community that I am living in right now. I would advise that high school students really take advantage of programs offered at their high school, such as Gear Up and Upward Bound and AP courses and IB courses and Running Start if it's offered, because I think it makes academic and social transition a lot easier so that when you do have to adapt, to your whole new lifestyle, you're able to already have that knowledge and expectations of everything else that's going on around you. And I think it really prepares you to accept and be willing to try out all the new opportunities that are offered in college. Hi, my name is Joanna Sanchez. I was born in San Diego, California. Then I grew up in Mexico for about seven years. Then I came to Washington. Originally went to Prosser, then I transferred to Grandview. I attended Grandview from elementary all the way to high school. I was involved in sports as a cheerleader. I played soccer, I played volleyball, I did the whole sport thing. <laughs> now I'm here at the UW. I honestly, I really, at first I didn't like it here. I really didn't fit in. But now I do like it. I found my little circle. I like my friends. And through this process, I would have to say I learned to network. Knowing people and knowing who they know really will pay off in the end. I mean, I really like it. I found out an Alva internship and then Explorer programs. I've just become really educated just because of the people I know. And if I were to give a piece of advice to an incoming camp student or an incoming freshman, would be to just network, get to know people. You never know who in the end might end up helping you. Bye. Hey guys. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Anthony and I'm part of camp. This is my best friend. Bryn, and I'm not part of camp. We just want to talk to you today about some of the do's and don'ts of college. Bryn, will you start us off? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So do hook us. Your Gmail to your UW email account. Don't take more than three. Classes at a time. Because then you won't get much sleep if you have a lot of homework. Don't go to parties. Alone, because that's not safe. And lastly, don't drink. Water before class because you will have to go pee. 
But always remember, there's always going to be another mountain. And you're always going to want to make it move. It's always going to be an uphill battle. And sometimes, you're going to have to lose. But it ain't about how fast you get there. And it ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb.